Yeah. And, you know, I mean, you know, Matt and, you know, Tia, you know, that entire crew uh, very well. So, you know, that they're, they're killers when it comes to their mindset in these, these competitions. But there, that has to sneak in a little bit, especially going into that last event, knowing it's only 100 points, knowing that they're going to be just fine. Like they're, they're not, they're not going to have any issues meeting the minimum work requirement. Like what went into their decision to, to just run it together? I think it was probably the easiest decision in both of their careers, which seems externally like, ah, oh, you know, you're not going to compete like your competitors. It, you know, they had gotten where they wanted to get, which was, you know, they had won. They had to certainly, you know, apply energy to finishing it, you know, which was, you know, the requirement. And, you know, them, there, there wasn't anything more natural in that moment for them to look at each other and, and say defiantly we're going to finish this together and matt was like most defiant in that like hey t like i'm waiting if like i get ahead you know i think his assumption was like you know in those in those type of workouts funny enough the females did better than the males um mm -hmm. but he was like hey I, i'm i think he felt like i'd probably win this workout overall uh, or be close like i'll wait you know and and they talked along the way like it was um it was it was like a, a ball of, of of emotion for from the announcement to like them saying hey you've got to finish or you don't podium and then matt kind of figuring out like hey what if i get hurt guys and they're like ah oh, dude like they were great about that they're like listen don't stress about that if you get hurt we're, we're just looking for effort and you know matt's perspective on that always is like well don't make me do things and i'll give more effort because if i have to then i gotta be careful you know but they um yeah like you know i think you know, and you saw like them push a little on the run. And, you know, I think that, I think that was important because it was, you know, and Matt talked to T, he was like, Hey, I won't push if, if you don't want me to, um, because I am not finishing with anybody but you. So that was like super, in there, you know, that was their intent. But I think Matt, it sort of dawned on Matt, like, I gotta like, I, my results in this workout could affect, you know, a, a, a lot of other people's results. Like I got to put some effort in. This isn't like anti Noah pro Justin. Like he doesn't even know what's going on. He just knows right. that a lot of people are screaming at a lot of people to move and beat Matt. And he's like, I got to go. Um, but yeah, dude, like they were 100%. We, you know, it's funny to feel like be behind the scenes and Shane and I kind of be like, well, this is exactly what they should do. Like, this is awesome. But also being like, it's a competition. Are they going to be pissed that they're like, you know, lollygagging? You know, we don't even know, like, are they going to finish last male and last female because they go so slow? And then the way it played out with Matt winning, it was kind of like, okay. I mean, you can't really argue with it because Matt won the workout, you know, and Tia very well could have been right in the mix on the female side. She finished third. It wasn't like, you know, a poor effort by any stretch, you know. Yeah. That was cool though. I mean, I don't know how you felt about it, but it was, um, I mean, that was, yeah, that was one of my favorite moments. That was definitely one of my favorite moments. Watching them cross the finish line together is like something that I will remember for a very long time because it, it, it is kind of, uh, you know, capstone for, um, you know, two people who are the, like the best who've ever done it. Like no doubt about that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, absolutely. They are they, they, absolutely. like that's the next photo that'll be right here. It's just those two with their arms up. Honestly, it will be the most iconic photo ever in our sport because you know that they're not going to allow that to happen again. Like, no, I mean, no way. In in, I don't think I. You know, I think the intent was like, oh, let's put them next to each other and see if they go at it. That was not going to happen. But then it's like, okay, you know, Dave's not going to. You know, you're right. going to separate them. Like, he's not going to want that, it, and, which is fine, you know? Yeah, uh, and but, even, if, even if it were, the context would never be the same. You know, two people going for, you know, fifth and fourth. You know, they, right. they already have a great relationship because they've been training together for the past couple of years, like, every day. Like, it's, it's never going to happen again in terms of having that same context. It was, it's kind of, you know, wrapping a bow on that, though. It was like, that was like, it was just super surreal because I think, everybody has their like opinion and like emotion that they'll throw surrounding them doing that across. Like it's a sports moment. Great. A lot of people can look at it and be like, wow, that's pretty cool. You know what Shane, myself, Sammy, like our group will look at when we see that is just like, 
there's a lot that goes into that, you know, how close they are, you know, it's a lot to train with someone else in, you know, a lot for Tia and then the same for Matt, like you're not at your best every day. And you know, what's important to you some days isn't important to someone else. And, you know, you're, you know, you got your ass on fire some days and the other person's really happy, you know, they poke each other. So it's a long 365 days. And then, you know, um, Shane and all the hard work he put in and just what they put themselves through in general. But, you know, we all, there's a lot of blood, sweat and tears that go into that. And for them to choose to do that, like we, that was great for me and for Shane and for Sammy. It was like, we felt like they were celebrating all, like what we all do together, you know, and it was, it was, um, yeah, that's what, that'll be the coolest sport moment for me ever. You know, it was like, you know, to be there and then have those two come over and spend some time. It was like, you know, you always want, like, I always wonder, you know, I don't want plan. This isn't like, you know, plan what you're going to say to Matt when he wins, but it was like, it was like the most natural you did it, you know? And like, you know, just like, you know, I didn't never thought of it, but like, that was the moment. It was the build up, you know? And it's like, you two are clearly the best ever now. Like there's no debate, right? Like there's nothing we need to talk about anymore. Like it's, you know, the numbers are there, like the eyeball, you fit the eyeball test. It's like, you did it. And, and you know, the, the both of them were kind of like, nah, we did it. Like it, it's such, it's such a cool moment, you know, I, it won't ever be duplicated. Like you said, like, you know, so it's over. Like, thanks, Armin. You know, that was, that's it. You know, I'm, do, I'm done. I could like grow long gray hair and retire. And my, my, good, my good days are behind me. Yeah. You peaked. That was great. Yeah, I, that was a great moment. <laughs> Folks, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to see even more clippy goodness, hit one of the links on the screen right now. And if you want to see the video that that clip just originated from, link is in the description below. Hope you guys check some more stuff out while you're here. Enjoy. I will see you very, very soon. Take care.